you don't know evil until you get really sick and your entire family denies you. What a journey this has been. It's hard to understand, you know, it, sometimes it can take years to, um, put our stories together to understand our stories because, um, part of the goal is to keep you uninformed and ignorant and confused and gaslighted and they want you to not fully understand what has happened and you do remain that way and some people go to their graves that way and some families have have buried their own and even years later they don't even know what happened to their family members People are going into their graves alone and betrayed by the family that was supposed to protect them. It took me years, years to figure out my story. And there's probably parts that I don't understand still. And it took getting off the medications I was on to literally get my brain back and get my capacity back to be able to figure this out, figure this all out and research and understand and during that process as part of my fight to figure out what's all wrong with me I got horrifically injured again during that quest and fight for my health and my life. I was brought to my knees by another medical injury. And to top all that off, I've got two rare diseases that my country and my family will not recognize. And I've got medical injuries that my country and my family, my medical system and my family deny. As a Canadian, when you're injured by medical, you can't even imagine that you're going to be disrespected or mistreated or denied. And the medical system knows this. The families don't know this. And you, you're 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 worse off if you've got a, a dysfunctional family. Your family and community relies on and looks for the guidance of the medical community. For validation of our medical injuries and rare diseases 
And when our families do not get that validation from the medical community, they abandon us and betray us. When the medical community turns us away and denies us and betrays us and abuses us, our families follow. So we're, we're denied and abandoned by everybody. And it all boils down to money. In the end, it all boils down to money, doesn't it? If your family's not smart enough, if your family isn't healthy and strong and well, if your family isn't awake, You'll go to your grave betrayed. You know, it's 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 all about nervous system injury. And you know, like all the symptoms, it's it's nervous system in, injury, and my nervous system has been just hit over and over again with medical injuries, and, but you know what, the betrayal, the nervous system can't handle this ongoing level of betrayal. 